Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. I know it's been a while. I went on a cruise for the first time this past week, and that was an adventure. Um, it was actually better than I thought it would be, but I had very low expectations. Uh, I do have one Pokemon story that I, I'm going to throw in there a little bit later, but in this video we're actually going to go over the Charizard EX uh, Premium Collection box that comes out on, I believe it's the 20th. So today's Wednesday, Wednesday. so yeah, it'll be, it'll be Friday. It's two days from now. I'm going to show you guys... Um, kind of what comes in that and then we're going to go over some stuff that I have on consignment some pretty cool items um, might have a chance to get a team rocket first edition box something like that but I'm gonna jump to the Charizard premium collection box first because I'm sure that'll be kind of what's in the title this way you guys can kind of see it um, you do get some cool promos you get the Charmander it's not the Cosmos foil but it, some of you are probably already having a sigh of relief if, the, if this is the first time you're seeing it the quality of the backside is actually it's, it's really good um, the the main issue with these is some of them don't have the centering that you want, but I believe that there's going to be a lot of cards that are gradable with it. In fact, I'm grading almost all of my Charizard EXs. This is the uh, the big card that people are wanting to get, and like you like I said, you can see the centering is off, but the condition is really good. There were some that had like that burning shadows type raised beveled edge, almost like chipped around it, but it was like five out of six hundred that I opened up. Um, some other things that you get with it, like this is the main attraction that Charizard EX. You do get some sleeves. I'm probably going to have these available in my store. Probably like, there's 65 sleeves and I don't know, maybe like lots of 10 for 30 bucks or you know, something like that. Uh, this is new. This is a card stand and it's pretty decent quality. You can see it's in there freestanding kind of it's on its own as I smack things. But yeah, it just kind of like clips in there. But this is a, it's magnetic. So it's almost like a, what are those, one-touch magnet holders, something like that. But you can put the card in there. It sits kind of nicely. You hook it in right there. And then it'll mag magnetize down. But I'll make sure the card's in there. I don't want to put that over it. But, yeah, it holds pretty good. And then um, you just push it in there. And you can see it actually holds on, it on, on, on its own. It'll stand on its own. It's pretty sturdy. And I like the fact that you can't see the magnet. You've got, like, a theme around the backside. <clears throat> around the edge and then on the back side as well. This is Ultra Pro. It's probably the same thing as sleeves. I don't know what to sell these things for. Probably like 10 of these for 30 bucks or something like $3 a piece. It might might be a 50 cent thing. I, I really don't know. But yeah, so when I was on the cruise, I had something happen to me, Pokemon related. This only happened one other time and it was almost kind of like a cheat when it happened before because it was my nephew's friend. But uh, there was a guy, Brent, ran into him on the way off of the ship, got behind somebody and he turns around, he's like, Rusty. And I'm like, yeah, do I know you? And apparently he's somebody who watches uh, my YouTube channel. So Brent, if you see this video, um, I remember you, man. Uh, if you guys, I'm going to try to put a link down here in the description. He's got a, a YouTube, or not a YouTube, but an eBay store of his own. And I thought that was really cool that uh, he's a full-time seller now as well. And um, I, he had actually bought a few cards from me. He told me he had. I looked up his name, and there it was. You know, I had, had a couple things that he bought from me. But maybe go support him. Instead of clicking on any of my eBay links, just go click on, uh, you know, the eBay link for his store. I'm going to try to put that in the description. I don't think I could put it up because I don't have, like, eBay is technically not owned by me, so I can't put the link on the screen. But if you go to my description, click on that. Maybe just go show him a little bit of support, you know. If the as long as the cards are priced right, you know I'm not gonna go price everything, but you know if it's priced good, maybe maybe help him out, you know cancel your subscription, you know to my membership or something like that, and just go support somebody else. Um, but anyways, I'll, I'll move on from there. Uh, we'll jump into some of these consignments. Oh, and I can't remember his, his wife's name. Gosh, she she told me what it was. I'm bad with names. I'm surprised I even remember his name. But yeah, so this is in on consignment. We have some more packs. I didn't weigh these out. Um, Team Rocket First Edition is one of those sets where it's really tough to weigh. So uh, I always put likely light on this stuff down there in the description, but I didn't put it in the title this time because I really don't know. Um, but they're still being, just assume light with this kind of stuff. Same thing with all these sets. Aquapolis, Neo Genesis, Neo Destiny doesn't even matter because Shinings can come in like packs. And then Gym Challenge, all of these sets are really tough to weigh. You guys saw me weigh them directly from a sealed box and it, it, it still didn't work out. But all of these are up for sale. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, we got some Master Ball Reverse Hollows from 151. Are these still going strong? Wow, that's bright. So, oh, that's even brighter. <laughs> Man, that Reverse Hollow was really hitting it. But these are some popular Pokemon. All Gen 1, right? Nice Snorlax. Here we've got Squirtle, Vaporeon. We've got Pristine on the Charizard EX. Gem Mint 10. We've got the Pristine on the Gold Charizard EX as well. And then 
Now I'm going to take this out of the box. These come with these uh, nice little boxes that fit them pretty well. I don't know if these are the original boxes that come with them, <clears throat> but there's some Tops tins, and some of you may already know what they are just by seeing the box. But it's these like uh, it's like these oversized tins, but they actually come with seven packs, and then you also get one like jumbo foil. It's kind of a, uh, it's thinner, but. They're they're really nice. They're like tops chrome. They're embossed, but this one has char this one has Charmander on the front, so sh you should have the Charmander jumbo in there. And uh, I believe there's the uh, Meowth, a Pikachu. There's some other ones that are up for sale too. All of these are no reserve auction, so if you want to pick some of these up, um, they're in pretty good shape. I think one of them had, did have a small dent. You can kind of see it in the pictures, but for the most part, they they were uh, really nice shape. Um, I wasn't seeing tears or anything on the edge. And then last but not least, we have. A Team Rocket first edition booster box, and it is uh, a little beat up, so this is probably be perfect for like a break. But um, everything checked out on it, so I did not open up this box. I'm gonna just leave it sealed, even though the one that we opened up actually did like it was like four or five hundred dollars, a little bit more. Um, it was probably just a coincidence. I mean, you just never know with auctions. I'm hoping that this one kind of brings in the same price range, uh, thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars, something like that. But we'll we'll see what it goes for. Uh, I know the market right now seems to be a little a little bit weak, but not so much on Team Rocket stuff. It's like base and jungle and fossil. I mean, that stuff is just everywhere. It seems like right now. But Team Rocket has always been in high demand for me. Anytime I've offered up booster boxes like in mass lots, those are usually one of the first ones to go. Uh, I had considered picking this one up. Uh, for a break, but I uh, passed on it uh, just because I knew I had, I had all this stuff going on. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about these uh, little stands. You know, I'm not sure what to think about them. I, like I said, I've never sold these before, and, and they look nice. I think this would go great in like store displays, something like that. If you wanted to show a card that's raw, you're not going to grade it. Um, but I would almost be too nervous to, that I would clamp the card or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely brings out that Charmander. I like it, and I really like this collection box overall. With the especially with the the Charizard um, being in almost an all good shape, like I think I'm grading like 580 out of the 600 or something like that that I've got. In. I was just like, you know what, these look good. I'm gonna just take the whole stack and send them in. We'll just see where it goes, and then it'll be like a long term inventory play for me. Um, but anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys. Sorry I was away for so long, uh, Brent. If you're watching, thanks so much for uh, checking out. And we're saying hey on the ship. It, it really made my day. Let me know what you think about this premium collection Charizard EX box, and I will see you in another video very soon.